So, here it is, the big chunk of wood. What I'm going to do first of all then is I'm going to put the face plate on here. Now this is a really good plate. Let me show you. Plate, you can get this in well, most places. I think mine come with my chuck. When I bought my lathe, um, I bought the chuck from Record Power as well and this came inside it. But it's brilliant. So we'll find the centre of this and we'll pop this on here. And this will keep this really nice and secure. So I think that's the first thing and then we need to get this on the lathe. This is going to be pretty wobbly because it is out of shape but we need to start somewhere let's put this in let's put that in the center find the center as much as possible get that on the center pop it on the lathe get rid of some of this bark and I'll start showing you what we're going to make okay so it is now up on the lathe this beast of a piece of wood it is massive well pretty big for me anyway and it is wobbly as hell. Check this out. That's pretty wobbly. And there's not really a lot I can do about that, to be fair, at the moment. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to have this on a low speed. We're going to take it slow. And we're just going to start to uh, chip away and try to get this as round as we can because that's, uh, that's what we need to do. Right, this is so big um, and uh, it's, it's taken a while to get it to round. Um, I don't really need it this big so I'm going to chop this off which will get rid of this kind of like wobbliness as well up here and there's a massive knot here as well I'm going to try and shave that off as well. I've chopped it off a bit and I've taken off the knot. Um, it's made a bit of a difference but not a huge amount but we'll carry on. getting into a little bit of a safer zone now so um, it's getting a little bit more round so um, it's always best to be really cautious if you've got something really wobbly take it slow easy light cuts slow so it's getting a little bit better now so I can crank the speed up a little bit and we can make a bit more progress <laughs> So as you've seen, um, I'm starting to try and shape up this piece and yes it is a vase and uh, no doubt you've seen the uh, piece, uh, the picture at the beginning anyway so you know what I'm going to make or try to make. So David, the guy that makes these all the time, um, is obviously an expert at doing this and I have no idea what I'm doing with this piece but again I saw it and I thought it looked amazing 
and all credit goes to David at his uh, shop um, because obviously he's come up with this design and it's absolutely fantastic. I think it's pretty cool anyway. So I just wanted to sort of see if I could do it. So um, we're getting on with it. It's um, I'm starting to think, yeah, it's not looking anything like his at all. But um, hopefully we can kind of get an end result that's going to look very similar. So at the moment, um, it's um, kind of taking shape. It's sort of vase looking, kind of. It needed to be a little bit thicker at the top, but it's not. It's a bit thinner than it should be, so um, don't know how that's going to pan out yet. But um, I'm going to drill out now the uh, the vase, uh, so we can make a bit of a hole in it. So let's do that. what we've got so far um, we've followed out a little bit of it we need to go a bit more deeper than that though I think it comes down to about here so we need to go down into here really um, so as I say it's a bit smaller a bit more thinner than the uh, than the original but uh, what we've got to try to do now is work out where we're going to cut this so um, we need to cut a chunk out like a V shape like that, that's what we need to try and do. So, um, it's sort of like a piece there which kind of lends itself to be cut out there, but although that might be a bit of a feature for the other side, maybe we just take it from here somewhere. Um, I'm not too sure, I might use that bit, I don't know. But we need to cut out now a section um, from here and then just stop around about here, which I think. So we need to go and get the zip, so I need to get the zip and lay it up here and see how far it comes down. Okay, so this is the uh, this is the zip. Right, so this is the zip that we've got. Um, and this is gonna sit well wherever that finishes is gonna needs to sit about there. Um, but opened up, so we want it opened up to about here there so this then so we need to draw this out on here to make sure this fits right so that needs to sit in there like that and I think that's about right about there I would say let's have it open a bit more let's bring it open a bit more like that so we can make this a bit wider Let's go a little bit more actually, about right there like that. Okay, so you can mark that off there. And there. So that's kind of our cut that we need to make. So we need to cut that out of there, chop that out, because that's where that's going to sit, about there. Need to make sure that that is, is right. We can manipulate that anyway, can't we? So that's about right there. And then this finishes down here somewhere. So it's about there it finishes. So what we need to do is we need to cut this 
up. So we need to uh, just chop this up. So we'll do that now. Right, so just get a nice uh, new blade. Make sure this is sharp. as we've got so far with this uh, zip vase as I'm going to call it I think it might be I don't know if it's called that it might not be marked out roughly where the base of the zip was going to sit um, and then I've marked out the V which we need to cut out now as I say on David's version of this um, his is a lot thicker up here and that's what really it should have been but it is what it is really um, this is kind of okay, this is a bit of sort of like a bulbous bit at the bottom, so I'm going to chop that off there eventually uh, once we've finished you know, doing this. But the idea, I think what I want to try to do is I want to cut this out here first and then sort of finish it, I think. Or should I finish it first, actually? I'm not, don't, I'm not too sure. I might finish it, actually, so get the finish done on it and then cut it out and then just sort of like buff it off just in case, obviously, I get caught up in this section here. Um, so that's, that's as far as we've got. Hopefully, it's gonna look all right. Right, so I've sanded this back now um, to about 240 grit. Uh, so I've gone through the grits, um, got up to about 240. Now it's time to put on a bit of Yorkshire grit. Don't know if you can see that, there we go, Yorkshire grit. This is really great stuff. So I'm gonna apply this now with the lathe turned off um, and a good amount of this stuff I'm going to smear all over. Next stop, Woodwax 22. Okay, so uh, this is what we want it to, to be like, as we said earlier on. So I've just finished this now. That's almost, the finish is kind of put on there, but that's how we want it to look, is something similar to this. So, uh, we just need to mark this up again to get this to where we want it to and just decide where we're gonna cut this out. This is the tricky bit where everything could go wrong. I'm hoping it doesn't. I think this is probably a good place to put it. So we're just going to mark up where that is. So uh, it's about there. And that's about there. Just make sure that's that's about right. And that's about right there.
we're getting there. We're almost finished. Um, just carved out the area for, carved out the area to put the zip in, um, and that was a little bit tricky. Um, and then we got to have to try and finish it again afterwards, which obviously is not very great because. Um, you know, it's got a hole in it now, so it's very difficult to finish. But um, I think I might be able to bring the buffing wheel out and maybe do the do a bit of shining on the buffing wheel. So um, I think we're ready to part it off now. That's fine. I'm happy with that. Um, so yeah, I think we're pretty much ready to take it off. So I'm going to part it off now. finished buffing this up it's come up really well um, I put it on the buffing wheel and I went through the little system that they have there although when I got to the wax uh, stick that didn't really work very well so I swapped over to the uh, Hampshire Sheen uh, wax stick which we've used before pretty cool stuff this is so I put this on and actually gave it a really nice shine so that worked really well so um, yeah I think it looks quite cool actually I quite like it And there it is, folks, our zip vase. Turned out okay, actually. I'm, I'm fairly pleased with it, fairly pleased with the results. Um, this is all glued up now on here. Um, that's all pretty secure on there now. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so there, look. Got the black emblem in the bottom of this one. I thought it was just a little bit different. I used quite a lot of the, the brass ones. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a little bit different than uh, David's version, uh, and obviously he's you know he's the man that makes these, and I just saw you know what he made, and I thought you know what that is so awesome, I've just got to try to make one of those. All credit to David Lowe, um, and uh, I'll put a link down below for his uh, workshop page. The ones that he makes are here, and they look pretty cool. So. Um, this is a little bit skinny at the top, but I suppose you can have different variations. It doesn't all have to be, you know, exactly the same. And I wanted it to be a little bit different as well. I didn't want to copy exactly what David's done. But I wanted to give you an idea of, of the actual piece um, that I had in mind. So, um, yeah, it's it's quite funky, isn't it? A bit different and nice as, a, as an ornamental piece. I mean, you can put flowers in it if you want to, um, but it's uh, it's up to you, really. There's only one problem, is, it, is it's... Um, some reason it doesn't zip up, but um, you know it's uh, yeah. Hopefully it gives you some sort of ideas, and maybe we can uh, incorporate something like with this type of design into something else. Not necessarily a vase, but you could probably make it into something else. Um, and I probably and hopefully you know have a few brains ticking now and thinking yes, actually that's giving me a good idea. Um, all credit goes to David. He's the one that came up with this idea. I believe and uh, I just had to make it it was just so cool I just had to show you guys so, uh, there we go a zip vase <laughs> hope you enjoyed it and uh, got some ideas from it thanks very much for watching my channel um, just wanted a big shout out to all the uh, new subscribers that have come over and obviously um, <coughs> all the, the old ones as well um, it's really going so well guys thanks so much I really do um, I am really chuffed that you guys are finding the channel interesting. I appreciate all the comments, likes and subscribes. If you do me a really big favour and share this video, this would really help me out. Um, and um, I'm hoping that uh, we should get a few more people over to the channel. Thanks guys for, for joining me and uh, I hope to see you for uh, my next video. Take care. See you.